I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, why I find science fiction interesting. A lot of people think that uh, science fiction means uh, spaceships and laser beams and aliens. The underlying assumption of real science fiction is that the universe can be understood through reason. It's the idea that the universe is, is a vast machine, and if we study it carefully, we can figure out how it works. And when we understand the universe more fully, that knowledge will spread, and it will have far-reaching consequences. These new kinds of stories lie at the heart of science fiction. These ideas are new ones in human history, and they offer new kinds of stories. Stories that would not make sense to someone who lived 500 or 1,000 years ago. Science fiction, on the other hand, offers a different type of story, one that follows a different pattern. The world starts out as familiar, then a new technology comes along and disrupts things, and then the world is different. The original situation is never restored. Sometimes the consequences are good, sometimes the consequences are bad. Usually there are some of both. But there is no going back to the way that things were. The message of this type of story is that change is inevitable. Science fiction is a literature of change. It reflects the reality of the modern world. There are a finite number of conceptual breakthroughs that have occurred in history, and you can't re-dramatize them over and over again. But in science fiction, you can create a potentially infinite number of them. You just invent a scenario in which your characters achieve a greater understanding of the universe that they live in. A conceptual breakthrough, like discovering that the Earth moved around the sun, may not have changed people's daily lives, but it, it introduced a new way of looking at the world. It raised the possibility that we could see the universe in a different way than we had in the past, and that the future might be different. New technologies do not go away. People don't give up cars, or planes, or computers, just because they sometimes malfunction. Technologies stick around, and for better or for worse, they change our lives permanently. If you're a science fiction writer, and you've come up with an idea for a new invention, there are a couple different ways that you can treat it. One is to treat it as marvelous, as a new invention that enables your hero to save the day. Another is to treat it as commonplace and imagine what society would look like after everyone has gone. And one way that science fiction reflects the scientific worldview is by conducting thought experiments in fictional form. And this is something that scientists often do. They imagine experiments that they cannot actually perform in the laboratory, but they imagine them in order to see what they can learn just by thinking about the scenario. Science fiction imagines the world as different from the way it currently is. The goal is not to tell an adventure story in a different setting, although there is nothing wrong with that, but the primary goal of a thought experiment is to provoke thought, to ask questions, to make us examine our assumptions. Not all technologies in science fiction are as radical, but all technologies raise questions and challenge the way that we think about ourselves. Factories change our attitudes about the value of work. Biotechnology forces us to ask ethical questions that people never had to ask in the past. The internet is changing our ideas about the value of intellectual property and what privacy is worth. Whenever a science fiction story depicts a new technology spreading throughout society, it implicitly raises questions about our way of life. But science fiction does not have to be about realistic inventions in order to be valuable. Stories about completely unlikely inventions can still be useful because they're a way for us to imagine the world as being different from the way it currently is. They make us ask questions about ourselves and our values. They expand our minds in a way that prepares us for the changes to come. Because the one thing that we can be sure about the future is that the world will be different. People will work at jobs that we cannot imagine now. Technologies that we currently regard as marvelous will become commonplace, and that will have wide-ranging consequences. It will make us question our assumptions in ways that we cannot predict. Maybe the future will be wonderful, maybe it will be terrible, it will probably be some of both. 
The specific details of the future are always going to surprise us, but the fact that the future will be different should not. Not if we read science fiction. Thank you.